Welcome. In this business finance lecture, we will be going over study problem 2-2 from in page 47 from the 8th edition of our textbook. Here's a view of the problem. So let's highlight some key ingredients of the problem. So we are told about uh, uh, the real risk-free rate, which is currently set at 2%, the inflation at 2% for the next two years, obviously, and um, assuming a two-year treasury note has a nominal interest rate of 4.5%, what would be the maturity risk premium for that two-year treasury note? Okay. As usual, we will start by uh, reminding we, the formula, the basic formula for nominal interest rate. This formula applies to any uh, financial security. Obviously, nominal interest rate is equal to the real, uh, sorry, um, yeah, the real risk-free interest rate plus um, the inflation risk premium, which I call it IP, plus the default risk premium plus the maturity premium and the liquidity premium. So you have a long sum here. So let's apply this formula to the security at hand, the two-year treasury note. Okay, so this two-year treasury note has a 4.5% nominal interest rate, so I go ahead and plug that in. Uh, the real um, risk-free interest rate is also given in the problem as 2%. The inflation risk premium is also provided as 2%. The default risk premium, by definition, because it is a government bond, it is zero. Uh, the maturity premium is the question. Huh? So the question is particularly asking for that. And finally, the liquidity premium, again, it's a government bond. So therefore, this thing, the liquidity risk premium is also zero. The rest is just plugging in and um, rearranging the numbers in a nice way. So let's try to do algebra. So these two numbers, we move them to the left hand side and ultimately the maturity premium is equal to 4.5% minus 2% minus 2% and this comes out as 0.5%. So that completes our solution. Hope you enjoyed the video.